All right, so our first lecture that we're going to go through today is uh, entitled Responsible Practices and Sustainability in Food Service Operations. What can I do to help? So there's not a lot of notes to, to take with this one. It's really just a lot of information. Um, and I want you guys to think about the role that we play um, as far as the environment goes uh, when we're working in a restaurant, we're working in a kitchen, and the responsibility we have to our community in order to make sure that we're uh, acting in a responsible way. Okay, and that's what the whole objective for this first lecture is. All right. So this lecture ap happens to be a lot of different videos. So um, we'll have lots of videos and you can use this information um, to be able to uh, do that one portion of your project um, that requires you to talk about sustainability and being responsible as well as how the National Restaurant Association uh, feels about it. So we'll do the first video and um, I will also be posting this PowerPoint uh, in Canvas for you to review on your own. If you want to actually click the links yourself, uh, it will be available to you. But here's this first video we're going to watch. Um, oops. Uh, here it is a YouTube video.
Okay, so that video was good. I think for the rest of this presentation, um, I will have this uh, PowerPoint available to you, and I want you to go through and go to each of the links, okay? So that was the first video. Um, I don't want to have this lecture be too long um, just because it's, it's spent watching videos, so uh, make sure you go through this on your own, okay? There's also uh, links within this uh, PowerPoint that you can go to um, to talk about how the National Restaurant Association has its own program uh, for restaurants uh, to use. Okay. Okay. Um, there's another video here that I want you to watch, it's about three minutes long. And while you're watching it, um, I want you to think does it make that big of a difference what my produce looks like when I'm going to be cutting it up? Think about how you're going to be using the produce that you purchase. A lot of times we spend a lot of money on things that look nice, um, and then we're going to be dicing it up anyway. Okay, so think about that. Uh, what difference does it make as, if my food is local or not? So this video here doesn't necessarily have uh, a lot of talking in it. Um, it has music and it has things that you need to read, so I want you to make sure that you're doing that. Because it does tell you, uh, you know, why it's important. It's not just a buzzword as to why uh, we want to eat local. There really are some uh, good and um, useful uh, things that come out of making sure we're using things from uh, the area around us. Um, a lot of us think, you know, it's my trash. Nobody really wants it, right? I need to put it out. They need to pick it up. It needs to go to landfill. You might be uh, surprised by what you find. And then you'd think that waste management companies, right, the people that get paid um, to take care of our trash, they don't really care about the environment, uh, do they or, or, or don't they? Um, I think you'll be surprised what you find out there. And then there's also a link for you to go to um, to read up a little bit about how waste management companies uh, work with restaurants. And uh, our atmosphere is made out of gases, right? There's lots of different gases in our atmosphere. Does it really matter what kind they are? Well, I mean, the obvious choice is sure, we'd want to have as much oxygen as possible. So what is it uh, about handling our food waste that can change that, okay? All right, um, and then there's uh, another video about, uh, or actually two on this page, about fog, okay? So fog isn't necessarily just that um, stuff that uh, shows up when it's moist and humid outside. FOG actually stands for fats, oils, and greases, okay? I think you guys have all been in a lecture class or a lab class um, where somebody has tried to or has put um, fry oil or, um, you know, where you were pan frying something, put that fat down the drain. That is a huge no-no, especially if you're working at a place, if it is your restaurant, if you've spent um, money to open up a restaurant, this is your baby. The last thing you wanna do is mess with the pipes, okay? So I want you to go through these links as well um, and learn a little bit more about fats, oils, and greases, fog. So some do's and don'ts after you watch that. You may see that um, we do want to recycle our used cooking oil. There are recycle uh, oil recycling stations, and if you click that uh, link, You'll actually see where that is here in Houston. Um, you want to clean up your cookware with a paper towel before rinsing to eliminate fats, oils, and greases that go down our drain. You want to pre-wash dishes and pans with cold water before putting them in a dishwasher. Sometimes we forget about that. You think, oh, a dishwasher, we'll just put it through. Well, the problem is, is the hot water will melt those greases, but eventually they uh, seize up. Okay. We do want to place our oil and grease in a sealed, covered collection container. We want uh, to put those containers um, properly in the trash and avoid using garbage disposals uh, by scraping foods, or I'm sorry, avoid using the garbage disposal by scraping food scraps into the trash can because every little bit of fat that makes it into those pipes um, is a bad thing. You also want to cover the kitchen drain uh, with a catch basket to uh, and empty that into the garbage as needed, making sure that we let as little down the drain as possible. So again, don't pour your uh, fats, oils, and greases down the drain, even in small quantities. Do not use hot water to push it through the plumbing pipes because you may think um, you're doing something, but eventually down the line that hot water gets cold and it just pushes that fat, oil, and grease further into your pipelines. 
and we don't want to toss food grab scraps down the drain. That's it. So please make sure you go through here, uh, read the resources. You're also going to have um, access to some information. I will open that up. Uh, some information about that should help you with your project as it relates to sustainability and being responsible um, within your community. Okay. All right. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.